Hi Capricorn, this is Lana the Comedian Medium coming to you for your yearly reading for 2020. <clears throat> Sorry I took a little bit of time, but I'm trying to go a little slower. I'm also using different angles. I just used a different angle where it's above and some of the people are like, oh, I don't really care for that. <laughs> so I'm like, well, okay, I'll go back to my old thing. Um, this is literally where you would be sitting if you came to me for a reading and that's kind of, so I'm kind of trying to perpetuate the easy feelings that I have. All right. So, um, hit like, and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading or hypnosis. And also go to enchantedsky.com. You can visit, oh, we had a card stick out. Well, there you go. Um, to, to, uh, visit my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, you can visit my blog. It's the wisewomansage.com. I got starting to get quite a few followers on there and I do blog quite a bit on there. Things to ponder. It's more of a blog site for me. So with that said, let's get to this. That must be your overall feeling for the, the, the year as a new start. Kind of felt that. Oh. Okay. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Well, in the month of January, you are going to feel a little bit unhappy, bored, restless. Um, you want some change. All right. Um... And in the month of February, I want to say for you that there is some change coming. A shake up, a rattle, um, something, something that's going to cause the change. All right. Um, I want to say that you are not going to be able to, it's going to happen to you. Oh, there's a possibility of a new job or a new start of some sort. Um, it's, I want to say that this is going to rattle you to your core. And not necessarily in a bad way. I'm not trying to be negative. But it's me, it's causing you or forcing you to rethink things. Okay? Um, I want to say some of you guys, I. it may be a move up within a company or of something of that nature. Or just mastering your skills so you may be taking on like something that you want to learn new on the side also okay so this may be for you this tower card here may be for you an aha moment okay where you're like i'm gonna i'm gonna do this or let's just do this you know type thing um, it's interesting that I'm getting so many people with new starts this year. It's very, very interesting. Oh, and, and then, you know, March, you're going to be feeling really down and out. So when I see this card, it, it's a picture of somebody that's down and out, but they're not. It's, this is actually more of a, of a fear that you're down and out, but you're not going to be, you'd be very happy. The sun is right there. I want to say a couple of you, maybe in the month of March, might be going on a trip. Feels like there's a trip there on, January, on March. Okay? Now, April is going to be the King of Pentacles. Now, are you the King of Pentacles? Okay? This is an earth sign, and you are the king of pentacles, because you're a Capricorn. That is a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus sign. Now, I want to say you're making more money, too. You didn't realize you were going to make some more money. But they're also warning me, too, that there will be some juggling going on. So, And I want to say, usually when I've seen this, there's just your... Robbing Peter to pay Paul to a certain point at times, so be careful of that. But for some of you, I want to say you're working two jobs or you're working two careers or you're just really juggling your time. 
okay? Because that's what this is. It's a, it's a juggling of time and resources, okay? But I do want to say that the money's coming in. The money's better. So by making these decisions, now your money's a little better, okay? Um, I want to say in the month of May, you may feel a little hectic. It might be... Um, you're remembering a simpler time for yourself when your things weren't as complicated. Okay. Um, it feels to me like maybe a few of you might feel as though you've made a mistake. Maybe I didn't do this right. See, look at you're you're not looking at this right. This is a card of, of, I know I'm down and this sucks. You know, you're, and this is the card that I call crying over spilled milk because you got a couple of cups tipped over, but you still got just almost as many. And I want to say that you also got the cow behind you. So you can go get more milk, <laughs> you know, um, I want to say that there are some people that, Feel like they did the wrong thing, but I in the wrong long run, it's not. It's a new start. It's a new way to do things, a new way to look at things. You were stuck anyway. You know what I mean by that. Now here comes the so the the King of Swords, which which is an air sign, which is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and. I want to say this person is coming into your life. I don't want to say that's you. Um, I feel like it's a boss, possibly. It's somebody of power. Now, it could be a doctor. It could be an attorney. You may have gotten something you didn't know about, and it's something you have to deal with in court or something like that in the month of May. Oh, nope, excuse me. That's June. Okay, so... I feel like oh, another card. Yeah. There's choices and giving and taking. I want to say some of you guys may have started a job and in about four months you have a chance to go somewhere else or do something different within the company already. So you may be trying to decide what you want to do if you want to go another route. Okay. In July, I feel like you you haven't gotten anything. Nothing has opened up for you. You're feeling a little bit, you know, tied down. But you do have a, I do have, there is some things happening in July that will be really good for you. So if you're thinking you want that interview or something like that, they're urging you that you are going to either meet somebody and have a relationship with somebody or you're going to have an interview and you're going to meet somebody that's the right match for you, the right job for you, the right thing for you, okay? So, and that's happening in July. But do you see how these all play together? By having the tower card here and having, making the decisions that you need to make, it affects all of this, Okay. Now, in September, you're stressed out. I want to say maybe your job hasn't come through like you want, but there it comes through. You're getting a message. And it's by email um, or something of that order, okay? I, yeah, I feel like um, that what you want is going to come through. And so you've been worried and worried and stressed out about it. And it's going to come through. So in the month of August. August, yes. Things are going to work out. You just don't see it yet. Okay. You get that interview. Now, the September card, you're down and out again. So my feeling is, is that, see, you take the bull by the horns and you go forward with this. You get a message and it comes quickly and it's, I feel at the last minute. So some of you guys might be, you started a new job, 
It's not going that great, but it's not bad. It's okay. The money's there. That's awesome. You know, or you started a business or you started, you know, that type of thing. And you are waiting for some things to come through with the job or with some money or you're waiting for something to come through. And, you know, you have a meeting, you get together, you, you know, it's going to happen. You get really stressed about it, but it's going to come through. You get two pages of messages. Okay. So don't worry about that. All right. See, look at in the in the in the October, you've got a high priestess, which is kind of hidden, but at the same point, not. Okay, I want to say October. So there's a marriage, there's a new relationship, there's all kinds of neat things happening um, in the month of October for you. Um, I want to say you're looking at something different. You might even be, this might be a starting a school. Like you started back to school or trying to get back into school or trying to get bed, bed, ready for school. And I'm having trouble maybe with some funding or housing or that's also something that's happening in here. Okay. Now in the month of November, you know, you have the Empress and the Devil. That's an interesting combination because the Empress is the queen of all things. She is the ultimate of everything. And to have the, the, the Devil means that they're kind of like reminding you to not get bogged down by details, not to get chained to anything, to keep your ultimate Empress attitude for the whole thing, okay? Um... I feel like there might be something that does like you're too worried and too preoccupied about money or a relationship or the house you want. Your your mindset isn't quite right. When you need to be quit worrying, you are the empress and you're the ultimate queen of all things. You're you you know, you just you're creative, you're giving, loving. Everything seems to always go your way, too. That's the true empress, okay? And they're kind of warning me that there's some things that in your life you need to let go of. And they could be some mild addictions. I don't feel like there's anything really, really bad here because it's the way it sits. But I want to say, though, that you need to get just wash it out of your life and get rid of it. Is kind of what I'm feeling like, okay? And that's happening in November. All right. Um, I want to say these two, this, this card back in October leads to this card, which is the queen of all things. This could even be, you know, this could even be a pregnancy, right? And it's very much could be a pregnancy and you could be, to be honest, not being chained down and not real happy about the pregnancy at, at, actually. So just a thought that if you don't want to get pregnant in the month of, of, November, please be careful. All right. Use the proper things you need to use for that. All right. Um, now you get back to December. And that's December is where you've gone through all these changes. So you are doing some meditation, Jim, just relaxation. It's December, you know, the holidays. And you're in a lull, you're, it's quiet, you're reflective, you're meditating, you're resting, okay? And you're thinking about it, and you're thinking about what you've been through, and you're kind of walk going away from it. You're kind of in a respite, you know? Respite, respite. Um, where... You know, I'm going into my new year here soon, and I think I'm just going to try to do some different changes. And and maybe, you know, your, your job didn't work like you wanted, but don't worry about that. Because it doesn't say that it's not, because this, this could be many things. This could be a new, different opportunity, a job, a business. You know, it could be a lot of marriage. It could be a lot of things right there, a lot of things. Okay, and this right here is back to January, and you know you have a hat you're going through, and when this says death, this does not mean death. 
This means a new start, a new beginning, a new way to look about it. It's kind of like a death of your old self as you break free and realize that you are growing as a person, okay? Now, there's nothing bad in these four cards, but I do say in the month of February is when you really get that aha moment, you know, and it leads to great things. And being 2020, that is a four, that is a karmic number. A karmic number means that you're going to get back what you have put out. So if you've been a great person and you've kept the straight and narrow this whole time, you're going to be rewarded for that. Okay. Um, I do see, I see several like opportunities, like jobs that could come up. So it's interesting. I'm getting lots of people doing lots of movement in all of my readings. So you're going to, that could be a job offer. That could be a love offer. Um, I want to say for, this could be some people coming back together. Like if you've been broken up and you're kind of doing your own thing and trying to figure out what you're going to do with yourself, you're coming back together in this month. I kind of feel that that's very strong there. And I want to say that that is causing this. There might be a marriage or something that is coming. Okay. But with that said, see, you've got the wheel of fortune and good luck on your side. This, so whatever you feel like you need to do, you need to just do it because I want to say the universe has your back. Okay. Um, this is a nice reading. I'm a Capricorn everything too. I got like five Capricorns in my, my Zodiac chart. So, and I understand where some of this is coming from for myself. I can't, by the way, we can't read for ourselves. If people say that they can read for themselves, they're crazy. But you can kind of tell maybe one out of ten or get a general feel. But when it comes to details, we're too emotionally involved and it's too hard. So, and besides, God blocks it from you because you would never experience all the crap you got to experience. So, he does it on purpose. So, with that said, um, I wish you well. Please visit my blog, the, the wisewomansage.com. One word. And uh, EnchantedSky.com to book a reading. I've been very busy this last few months now since I started doing this. So with that said, um, hit like and subscribe. Blessings. Let me know how you're doing. Uh, since I, am, I have an affinity for my Capricorns because I'm Capricorn also, like I said. Okay. I will talk to you for your um, cusp and mid-month readings real soon in February. Blessings.